Summer 2024 is finally here. I'm excited. Can you tell? As the temperatures continue to rise and the days grow longer and longer, it can be increasingly difficult to dress with style while also staying comfortable and looking casual cool under the summer sun. So whether you're out there lounging by the beach, exploring the city, or attending some rooftop barbecues, in this video, I've got you covered. We're gonna go over 10 items or 10 areas of your wardrobe that you should think about for looking effortlessly cool and stylish while staying comfortable under the sun, looking like an absolute boss. Welcome to Essential Style. Let's get right into it. Now, the first item I'm going to talk about is none other than the polo shirt. Polo shirt is the best shirt that you can wear in the summertime, especially if you get one like this from Collars & Co. You just get so much versatility out of the polo shirt. You can dress it all the way up. You can dress it all the way down. It's as comfortable and cool as a t-shirt, but with that collar, with those buttons unbuttoned, it frames your face really nicely. It gives you that masculine look big broad shoulders narrow slim waist that we should all be going for so the polo shirt is an absolute must for the summer there are a couple of different options for polo shirts you have one like i'm wearing the collars and co polo shirt which comes with a nice stiff dress collar which solves a couple of problems you won't get that bacony collar you ever see where a polo shirt the collar just kind of sits like that or the collar just goes gets all bacony and gets all nuts so collars and co polo shirts definitely solve that problem these things pretty much look like a dress shirt. You saw me earlier when I was actually wearing the sport coat before how it just stands so nicely. And most people aren't going to be able to tell you're wearing a short sleeve shirt. The only way they are going to be able to tell is you're not going to see any of the sleeves there because this is a short sleeve shirt. Now you do have some more casual option for polo shirts as well. I tend to like these from Under Armour. They're about a quarter or a third of the price of the Collars & Co polo shirts. And they're just a lot easier to wear, especially without an undershirt if it's super hot, but they are a lot more casual. But the Under Armour shirts actually do have a collar that stands straight. The collar doesn't all go nuts so like that, like some other shirts that I've tried. So polo shirts, an absolute must. Check out Collars & Co, not sponsored. I just really like their product. These are the ones that put polos back on the map for me. Now you could also go with linen shirts as well. I don't like linen shirts. I just found like, yeah, they were stylish and cool, but within like two minutes, it was totally wrinkly. The collar would just fall over, the sport coat especially. It just was not worth it for me. So I'm either going with something like a regular dress shirt, a, a cotton dress shirt like this, or I'm going with Collars & Co polo shirts. I have them in a couple of different, I'm in a couple of different colors. I have white, I have dark blue, I have light blue like you see wearing. So polo shirts, an absolute must have for your summer wardrobe. Second item you should have in your wardrobe for the summer is going to be the Deep V cotton v-neck t-shirt the deep v-neck t-shirt cotton undershirt whatever you want to call it these are from calvin and klein i wear these all the time just because when you've got that v-neck you can wear your shirt pretty pretty much open right here you're not going to see that white collar poking out that is a style no-no you don't want to do that you're going to look like an amateur if it just the eyes are going to go straight to your neck if you're going to see that white crew neck t-shirt right there the only time you should be wearing crew neck t-shirts is if you have your collar all the way buttoned up i know some people like doing that i don't like doing that so if you have your collar buttoned all the way up of course with a tie you should do this then you're not gonna be able to see that t-shirt that crew neck t-shirt everything else or every other time you're gonna wear it want to wear you're going to want to wear that deep v-neck t-shirt now if it gets super super hot if it's like 95 degrees fahrenheit or above and you want to go without that undershirt that's also an option as well especially with the short sleeve polo shirts it's going to feel really cool and really airy just be careful doing that because you're going to put more wear and tear on your shirts and with shirts like the collars and co polos that are more expensive it can be a bit expensive if you're actually running through these things every season because these are like 75 80 dollars per shirt so if it's super hot sans undershirt is totally fine but if you do want to wear an undershirt definitely make sure you have a deep v-neck undershirt he's going to be linked below with some other stylish items that i always recommend to wear definitely check them out and if you're getting some value out of this video go ahead give me a like go ahead give me a comment and don't forget to subscribe appreciate everyone subscribing with that being said let's get on to item number three the third item is going to be t-shirts I don't like wearing t-shirts unless I'm going to the gym or unless I'm doing quick errands in my neighborhood. 
I find that the polo shirts with the collars just look so much better in almost all situations. But just because they're not for me doesn't mean they're not for you. So what I'd recommend is definitely make sure that the t-shirt fits you in the shoulders, make sure it's long enough, make sure it's not too big, make sure it's hitting you somewhere around here, somewhere mid arm, that way you can see those muscles you've been working on in the gym, those shoulders, it's not gonna be too big and too billowy. And the safest thing to do would be just avoid graphic t-shirts at all costs. Stick with colors like navy blue, black, white. I tend to just wear navy blue t-shirts and I have a couple of black t-shirts. I don't particularly like white t-shirts or white shirts in general. I know they're super versatile and you can wear them with anything. Every time I've purchased white t-shirts or white dress shirts, white anything, white tops, they end up just sitting in my drawer. So for me, I go with more of the navy blue style t-shirts and just make sure that they fit perfectly fine. So get yourself a t-shirt that's nicely fitted in a solid color like white, navy, or black, and you're gonna be looking absolutely amazing. Item number four is going to be a long sleeve shirt or a lightweight jacket for cooler summer days or cooler evenings. Now this is really up to you which direction you wanna go for here. You can go with something like this. This is that lightweight cotton or that regular cotton dress shirt, even though this one is a gingham. This is gonna be really good in the summer heat and plus you're gonna be able to roll your sleeves down if it gets a bit cooler out in the evening or if it's more of a cooler summer day, you can break out that light blue classic Oxford like that. This is gonna be great. It's definitely going to keep you nice and cool in the evenings. Just be careful since these don't breathe very well. And for me, I can't wear these in the summertime. They are just way too hot and way too stuffy. Now what I like doing instead of all that stuff is I just go ahead and throw on a merino wool v-neck sweater over my polo shirt. That way I get to wear my polo shirts during the day and I get that cool airiness of that short sleeve, awesome polo shirt, but I can throw on that sweater at night and I can get a totally different look. Layering is something that we should all be utilizing. It's definitely gonna take you a look to the next level. So keep that in mind. You don't have to put your sweaters away for the whole summer. You can still utilize them for those cooler summer nights and you're gonna be looking like an absolute boss, especially if you lift weights and you got more muscle than I do. Item number five is going to be pants. Now, what shouldn't you be wearing in the summertime? You should not be wearing any denim in the summertime. A pair of cotton khaki chinos are gonna be absolutely great. They're going to be really breathable, a lot more breathable than your denim. You can go with the khaki color like this. This is gonna be your easiest and probably most versatile. It's gonna match with most of your other items in your wardrobe. Navy blue and gray are going to be great options as well. The gray is gonna look great if you're wearing dark blue tops, if you're wearing that blazer. And the navy is also gonna be nice because it's going to just be able to be swapped out with your dark denim and you're going to be able to wear the same things. It's gonna look like dark blue pants, dark denim and dark navy chinos. And the navy chinos are also going to be able to be dressed up more than the gray or the khaki. Now you're going to want to focus on the fit of these. Make sure that they fit you well in the waist. Make sure they're not too tight, not too loose around the thighs. And then make sure down by the ankles, they're not too big, they're not too billowy, they look good. And you probably don't want to go super skinny here because the skinnier the pants are, the less they're going to be able to breathe. But you don't want to go too baggy either. These are from Banana Republic. This is their slim fit and their slim fit is more of like a slim straight fit so you do have a bit more room down to the ankle it's the perfect fit for me it fits me perfectly so definitely check them out these will be linked in the description as well banana republic these are their what are they called rapid movement chinos they've got a bit of stretch in them so you want to do you know marching band if you can kick as high as the rockets you want to do some squats you know you you can do anything in these pants Get them in a dark color like navy blue you're gonna be able to ride your bike in them as well if you have to so leave your denim for the fall winter and early spring and definitely utilize cotton khaki chinos item number six we're going to talk about is going to be shorts now there are lots of different fabrics here you can go linen you can go some more stretch fabrics you can go more tech fabrics i'm happy with the stretch chino ones i find that they're very airy very comfortable i don't feel the need for denim shorts. I don't feel the need for linen shorts, rather, especially not denim shorts either. I don't feel a need for linen shorts. These are comfortable and cool enough. These are the J. Crew stretch chino short. They're my favorite short. They're durable. They're comfortable. They fit well. And overall, they're a great option. A couple things you're going to want to make sure with your shorts. You're going to want to make sure that they fit nice and slim, that they're not too long, not too baggy. Stay away from baggy 
long shorts. That's going to kill your style instantly. It's going to look like you stepped out of the 90s. Even though I was a 90s kid, I used to have big, baggy cargo shorts like that. No more. It's 2024. We got to get with the times and wear something that's a bit slim and a bit shorter. Now, you can see these are not super slim. They're not super short. They're just hitting right above my knee. But I always have the option of rolling them up a bit like that. And now they are actually a lot slimmer and they're shorter as well. I don't feel the need to do that though. I'm tall, so I've always gotten away with just being able to just, I always go a little bit longer than a little bit shorter because you can just do a lot more with those longer shirts. Colors, khakis are gonna be a great color. You could also go with gray and navy blue. There are some other colors that I used to wear like bright red. I haven't worn them too much anymore. I still have a couple of them. I like to keep it classic and simple. So the khaki shorts and the gray shorts are going to match perfectly with my khaki long chinos and my and my gray chinos, my long pants. And I also have the navy blue as well. Navy is a bit tricky for me to match because I wear navy tops a lot of times, but navy also doesn't get dirty as quickly. So if you're just looking for something that you can wear and you don't want to be able to, you know, have to clean it constantly, like I have a grease stain right here from one of my bikes, for example, navy is going to be a great option, but definitely khaki and gray are going to be your most versatile pairs. Now for item number seven in your summer stylish wardrobe, socks. No-show socks like this are going to be great. Notice you can barely see them. They pretty much look like ballerina socks. If I take my foot off, there you go, the little footy ballerina socks. These are gonna be great in a pair of shoes like these Vans slip-ons that I'm wearing. These are from Bombas. They have little grippers back here. That way your sock won't end up underneath your foot. But these are awesome because they're just, they're no-show socks, literally. Absolutely great. I mean, the name says it all. Bombas socks. The Bombas ones are good. I don't know what else to say about them. No-show socks. Definitely great for wearing with shorts. Now, another great option is going to be your ankle socks like these. Now, you can still see the ankle socks. They do come up a bit more, but they do protect the back of your ankles or the back of your feet. That's a little piece that comes up right there. So if you're constantly getting cut up by the back of your foot right here, definitely look into the ankle socks. Yeah, it's not going to be quite as stylish as a no-show sock, but if you just tuck them in as much as you can, don't pull them all the way up like this, tuck them down as much as you can around here, and there's not really gonna be a whole bunch of a difference and it is not worth wearing no-show socks if you're gonna get cut up down here. Now, of course, if you're wearing long pants like the chinos I was showing you before, something like a gray cotton athletic sock or a navy blue cotton athletic sock is going to work just as well. Now, you don't need merino wool v-neck socks. Those cotton athletic socks should be enough when you're wearing your long pants. Another option you could go with is thin dress socks. I like to wear these if I'm wearing, I like to wear these if I'm wearing a pair of shoes like this, the Allen Edmonds Strand, it's because with the thinner dress socks, the shoe does fit a little bit better. It also allows your feet to breathe a lot more since they are a lot thinner. Item number eight, shoes. Now for casual wear, something like a canvas Vans old school like this, or the Vans slip-ons that I showed you that I'm currently wearing, these are gonna be great because they're gonna be nice and casual, but also super stylish. Just make sure you be comfortable walking in these for long distances. I don't tend to have a problem wearing flimsy sneakers like this. My feet are just so used to it, but shoes like this are gonna be great if you want a more casual vibe. You could also go with some fashion sneakers, some all white sneakers, if that's your thing. Those are gonna be a little bit more supportive than something like this. Now, if you wanna dress up your pair of shorts, which I don't really believe that shorts can be dressed up. If you're trying to dress up your shorts, just go with your chinos and khaki or gray. But if you wanna add a bit more of a formality level to your shorts, definitely something like a leather sneaker or leather, the shoe doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. This is the Cole Haan Original Grand. This is the tan option with the dark colored sole. Nice, dressy, although it's a hybrid shoe. You may not be into it. I'm totally fine with these. Or something like this, the Beckett Simenon Wingtip Oxford. This is more of a classic look. Open lacing right here, very comfortable. I did a video, you probably saw it. It'll come up right here somewhere but these are gonna be great as well. I would definitely wear my ankle socks with this because I don't want that leather cutting in right there. Now, can you wear boots in the summertime? 
You absolutely can. You're just gonna wanna make sure you pick a pair of boots that does not have super thick, super insulating properties like thicker Chrome XL leather, or of course, don't wear fuzzy boots like that in the summertime. Your feet are just gonna be cooked nonstop. Something like this, the Allen Edmonds Dalton Wingtip Oxford or Wingtip Boot, rather not Oxford. This is pretty much just a high top dress shoe. It's not going to be anywhere near as insulating as a Thursday boot or an Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill. So if you've got something like this, definitely give it a shot. Now, if you wanna wear this in the summertime, definitely don't try to wear it with shorts. It's not really gonna work. It's too high of a boot. It's too much of a high top dress shoe. Definitely stick to your khaki gray or navy chinos and you're gonna be looking absolutely awesome and super stylish item number nine is going to be sport jackets now you're gonna to want to stay away from heavier wool tweed style fabrics like this one this is a medium blue one from suit supply that i got a while ago but it is in that heavier more insulating flannel type wool pattern and i think I do, they just call it regular wool now you can go with an all season fabric like this this is just a regular weight wool it's going to be a bit warm in the summertime but not as warm as those winter ones like the one i just showed you if you really want to stay cool in the summertime wearing a sport coat definitely go with the one that i'm rocking or something just like it this is a wool silk linen blend this is also from suit supply linen does tend to wrinkle a lot i've learned that with my linen shirts but the wool silk linen does mean that it doesn't the sleeves don't just wrinkle like crazy it's a nice bit of a mixture it keeps it airy but also it retains that shape it's not just as floppy and flimsy as linen now you're going to want to make sure that the sport coat fits properly i did a video recently or i don't know recently or whenever i did it it's going to pop up right up there right about now but crash course make sure that the sport coat makes sure it fits you in the shoulders make sure when you button it you don't have a whole bunch of baggy room make sure you don't get that dreaded x right there that means it's too tight and make sure that it's long enough for your liking and make sure that the sleeves actually hit right at this wrist bone doesn't really matter at this point just because I am wearing a short sleeve shirt. So you're not going to have to worry about those sleeves poking out. Now, the nice thing about the linen sport coat is it's going to have this nicer texture to it, which is going to keep it nice and casual. You can see that nice texture right there. This is more of a lighter navy blue. It's not medium blue. It's a bit lighter of a navy blue, and this keeps it a lot more casual. Now, the main benefit of this is that you are going to be able to dress this down a lot more than a more formal sport coat or a more formal suit jacket or a full suit, for example. So you can very easily just put your outfit together as normal, throw that sport coat on, and you're definitely going to elevate your look to the next level. But guess what? If it's too hot, if it's too stuffy, or if it's just too casual of an event you're going to, you can very simply just take your sport coat off. And if you craft your outfit correctly, everything fits, your colors match, you chose timeless classic pieces that fit you well and make you look like a boss, which you should be an expert now that you watch this video, then you're going to be able to get almost two outfits in one. And of course, it helps to have a lightweight jacket in the summertime. I don't even feel the need to have a lightweight summer jacket anymore. I just rely on this linen sport coat. If you do have a linen sport coat, it's gonna give you a couple of more extra pockets just in case you wanna put some phone chargers in there, sunglasses, anything like that. Now, when it comes to colors, it's really your pick. Lots of guys like to go with brighter colors like tan, bright blue, green. I'm not really into that. I'd rather keep it classic and stylish, and it just makes it easy to match this with the rest of my wardrobe. So definitely keep that in mind if you're on a budget. Go with something more versatile that you'll be able to wear with all your clothes as opposed to a big, loud statement piece like a bright red one. To piggyback off on that statement, if you can only afford one sport coat for all seasons, I would definitely say just get yourself a nice regular weighted wool sport coat like this one from Suit Supply. This is not going to be quite as airy as the wool silk linen one, but it's not too hot. And like I said before with this one, if you do get too hot, if you do get too sweaty, you could just take it off carry it in your arm. You could even fold this nicely, put it in your backpack, put it in your bag. That way you have it when it gets a bit cooler outside later in the evening. You have it if you want to be a bit more formal, but you can still take it off and look like a boss, which is why sport coats are always a better option than a full suit, or at least they are 99% of the time because you can take them off and have that casual outfit, but then you can put them on and you have a more dressy outfit. So it's almost like you got two outfits in one. All right, now the 10th and final item we're going to talk about is going to be accessories. Accessories, you know, 
pocket squares if you're wearing a sport coat, rings, watches, glasses. I'm not much of an accessory guy myself, but if you are wearing a short sleeve shirt, if you don't have a sport coat, you don't have a long sleeve shirt on, or if you're just going with a plain t-shirt, this is where accessories can be a lot more important. Now, like I said, I'm not much of an accessory guy. I have one watch that I wear most of the time. Sometimes I wear my Apple watch. I always wear my silver wedding ring right there and I always wear glasses. I don't remember the last time I wore contacts. It's definitely like six months ago. So I've always got three accessories that I just need to have with me all the time. Now, something else you can do is you can get a bracelet on your other wrist. If you do wear a watch, you should definitely be wearing a watch. If you're not, get something cheap like the Timex Weekender, play with the straps, get a nice cheap leather or metal bracelet. That's gonna be great as well. Rings, it's really up to you. Some people like them, some people don't. I wear mine because I am happily married. I also have a couple of silicone ones for when I'm exercising or going to the beach. You could also wear some necklaces as well. That's not really my thing, so I'm not really sure what advice to give you, except just do research and get something that you love. Now, I'm pretty sure that belts match as accessories or sort of but i just wanted to mention them as well this whole video i've been wearing this anson belt it is dark blue with a white strap through the middle of it i absolutely love this belt you could see that even though i'm wearing dress shoes and i'm wearing a dressy polo and some dressy chinos it does match with the season it feels like this is a very summer ready beach ready outfit just because changing out that dark leather or dark, that brown leather belt for a nice casual canvas belt like this definitely changes up the whole look. So definitely use your accessories like belts, which it is a, is a necessary accessory to change up your look. I wouldn't go too crazy. You can go camouflage, you can go red, you can go pink. You're gonna get more versatility or more use out of something classic like this. And that's what I always recommend. If you've watched my videos before, you know I like to play it safe and get things that I can wear all the time rather than just once in a while. But definitely think about changing up your belts just to change up your overall look. You'd be amazed and surprised, which is kind of redundant. You'd be surprised at how much of a difference it can make your whole outfit feel. Now, of course, if you do wear glasses like me, you're always gonna have something nice framing your face. If you like to wear contact lenses, then you could actually start to play with a bit more sunglasses. Now, I wear sunglasses sometimes at the beach, but I normally just wear my glasses. They turn into sunglasses anyway. A great option would be something like this. These are the Ray-Ban Folding Wayfarers. They look good pretty much on everyone. The coverage is really good. And as a bonus, they just fold up right like this, and you can just throw them in your pocket. And fun fact, did you know which famous YouTuber in 2015, did you know which famous YouTuber was using the Ray-Ban folding Wayfarers? I'll give you a hint. It, they were black and they had white specks on them. Casey Neistat, I don't know, if, if you didn't know, Casey Neistat actually got a pair of black folding Wayfarers, and then he was able to, he did a bunch of videos how he spray painted them, and basically made them his. But these were the models, the folding ones that he actually wore. So these things are great. Like I said, I wear them at the beach. I wear them casually if the sun gets a little bit too strong, but I don't feel the need to wear them all the time just because I'm always wearing my eyeglasses right here. But sunglasses are a great option. Now, another option I have for sunglasses is going to be a pair that I talked about. I did a video on a long, long time ago. It's going to be the Ray-Ban RB 4181s and you can see these do have more of that Ray-Ban new Wayfarer or Wayfarer type shape but the coverage is just really great they're almost like a curved big Wayfarer these things cover most of your visual field they're big so if you got a bigger head these are going to be great these do come polarized at one point i did have these in the prescription pair and i loved wearing them for driving they were super comfortable and they were super awesome unfortunately i lost them and i don't really feel like going paying 400 dollars or so on a pair of prescription ray-ban sunglasses but definitely take a look at the ray-ban new wayfarer style or the styles like this the 4181s or the folding wayfarers. Now you can also go with other options like the parcels. You can go with the aviators. I used to love aviators when I was much, much, much younger. Now I, it just reminds me back to the time when I was a teenager. I don't like aviators anymore. They do look great on some people. They're just not my style. I really would just say, if you're not sure, skip the aviators altogether. Just go get a pair of Ray-Ban new wayfarers. They make, they come in three different sizes or I think four different sizes now. They're gonna look good. And if you're not sure what to get, that's gonna look good on everyone. So that's it. 
10 items you need in your summer wardrobe to stay looking stylish in 2024 and 2025 and 2026 and beyond. If you follow my advice that I gave to you in this video and you invest in some timeless classic quality pieces, you're gonna be staying stylish for this year and beyond and looking like an absolute boss. Thanks for watching.